And here's the left-handed hitting Michael Brantley. And we are ready for some daytime baseball. Even at a ball and a strike, here's the pitch. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. Line hard toward right center. And Brantley will reach. He's got a base hit. Batting second. The third baseman, number two, Alex Bregman. Into the box, Alex Bregman. Hit well on the ground to first. Simmons on to first, and they get the double play. Here's the second baseman, Jose Altuve. He went deep in the contest last night. The 1 1 home. Two out, nobody on. Two and two the count. And he fouls this one off. Nasty breaking ball swung on in the dirt. And the throw to first ends the inning. So digging in now, Andrelton Simmons. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. The one two. He swung on and missed. He got him on strikes. Set to get his day started, David Fletcher. And it's been a real struggle for him with the bat so far this year, looking to get things turned around in a hurry. Just off the outside that time, laid off for a ball. And he pops it up. Altuve onto the grass, and he tracks it down. A nice running play to record the second out. In now is Anthony Rendon. Comes in 0 for 9 in the series so far, so looking to turn things around in this one. Ready to deal. Here's the 1-1. Count is 2 and 1. Bases are empty here with two men out. Now a fastball as he just reared up and let that one fly, and the inning is over. Now the Astros' designated hitter, Jordan Alvarez. He also had three hits in the win last night. The 2-1 home. To be honest with you, I'm a little bit more afraid of the guy on deck than the guy that's up right now. If I'm on the mound, I want this guy up right now. He's the guy that's got to beat me. A swing and a shot hit down the corner. And that nearly broke our scoreless tie. Instead, it's a foul ball. Neither guy willing to give in, and the at bat will continue. Popped him up. Castro waits on it. He's got it one away. So here's Yuli Gurriel. He's driven in four runs on four hits to this point in the series. You're lucky if you get one pitch a night right down the middle. Cannot be late on that fastball. Drilled on the ground is short. Taken in by Simmons. Throw gets him two down. Next up for the Strohs, George Springer. No score here as we play inning number two. All even now, two and two. And a full count to George Springer. It's three and two. If you're at the plate right now, you have to realize who's on deck. I guarantee you something's over the heart of the plate. You have to be aggressive in the zone right here. And this one misses high for ball four, and they have themselves a two-out base runner. Grounded to the right. He lays out for it, but he can't pull it in. 
And that runner will go no further than second as there are two aboard now. The right fielder. Josh. At the plate, Josh Reddick. Fastball close, but he didn't get it two and one. Great chance right here as a hitter to be really aggressive. With two guys already on, pretty good shot. He's going to get a challenge pitch right here. The 2-2. Two -two. Garrett Stubbs would be next. Stung into the gap in right center for what should be extra bases. This will kick up against the wall now. And the runner will score from second. And the second run will score as that makes it a 2-0 ball game. The pitcher, Garrett Stubbs. Into the box now, Garrett Stubbs. Even count, two balls and two strikes. And this is knocked down on the mound. Fortunately, he's able to stick with it and get the out at first, and that'll put an end to the inning. Here's the center fielder, Mike Trout. In eight at-bats in the series, he's collected three hits. Hey, we're still in the early stages in this one. They're only down by a couple of runs, but it's really key for this leadoff guy to try to get on and get a big inning started. Here now the 2-2. Doesn't get the zone. Count full now. Pretty good pitch right there. Fastball in off the plate. One of the things you want to do as a pitcher, try to stand those hitters up. High in the air down the right field line. But this will wind up being a foul ball. The next 3-2. Fouled away. Swing and a drive to left by Trout. This one's got a chance. And this ball is gone. No chance to make a play on that one. In now, Tommy LaStella. The ball in two strikes. When I broke into the league, not many guys were throwing that elevated fastball with that much velocity on it. The game has changed. And the throw will indeed take care of him for the first out. Set to get his day started, Justin Upton. Batting just a notch below 300 so far on the season. And this one's up around the eyes, 2-1. and one. Looks like this guy's afraid to throw the ball in the strike zone. Gave up that home run earlier in the inning. Needs to get back to being aggressive. Two balls and two strikes now. Pulled high in the air out to left field. Brantley is under it. Two down. Next batter to the plate, Brian Goodwin. Right Try to make something happen with two gone in the bottom of the second. Swung on and missed that strike two. And he got him. So it's back to the top of the order now. And that brings in the left-handed hitting outfielder, Michael Brantley. To third. Rendon has it. Throw to first in time. And the leadoff man is gone to start the third. Stepping up to the plate, Alex Bregman. over for one for him here in this one. A two-to-one score here as we play inning number three. Two and one. Started to chase that time, but then he wisely holds off for ball three. Wow, that pitch wasn't even close, and he almost chased it. If I'm the pitcher, I'm going to expand the zone even more on the next one. And a throw to Pujols is in time for the second out. So up to the plate next will be Jose Altuve. 0 for 1 here in the early going. Two out, nobody on. And he comes back with a fastball. One and two now. 
So far in this game, he's the only guy in the lineup that's gone down on strikes. This is the only looking at a fastball to end the inning. Jason Castro, the catcher, is in. A couple of hits for him in four trips to the plate last night. Here now the 2-2. Two -two. Is a swing and a miss. That's strike three. Here's Albert now. He's ready for his first at bat of this early season contest. Here now the 2-2. Two -two. Is looked at and the count moves full. One of the things you want to do with a starter, get that pitch count up. Here's another productive at bat is this count now gets to three balls and two strikes. Another payoff pitch. And now a slider in there for a called third strike. And there are two gone now. The batter, number two. So now to the plate will be Andrelton Simmons. First two men in the inning have both gone down via the punch out. So we'll see if he can fare any better. Liner in there for a base hit. So the bottom of the inning is still alive after the two out base hit. The batter, number 22. Second base then. So now to the plate, David Fletcher. Get weekly back to the mound. He's got it. Flips it behind his back. And he'll go the short way to retire the side. All set for the start of the fourth. Striding in for Houston, Jordan Alvarez. His last at bat didn't go his way as he popped out in foul territory. Yeah, Matty, and I think that pop out was just a result of poor pitch selection. Got to see the pitch over the heart of the plate. He chased well out of the zone, and as a result, didn't really put a good swing on that. And this is swung on and missed, and this fourth inning will start the, the same way he ended the third with a strikeout, and there's one away. Here we go. Hit back up the middle, scooped up, and a throw to Pujols is in time for the second out. Into the box, George Springer. He worked the walk and came around to score in his first trip in this game. Hit the target, but this is low, two and one. Fouled off. And it's fouled away. Ready with another 2-2. It's a high fly ball headed for the left field corner. If it stays fair, it's gone. But it bends just foul into the second deck. Outside in a full count, 3-2. Three 3-2 two. Three two counts are usually a time to challenge the hitter, but I think he'll be careful here. Shoot for the corner, and if you miss and you walk him, so what? That's better than him putting one in the seats. The payoff pitch one more time. Hard liner, but picked up on a hop. Throw to Pujols is going to be in time, and the inning is over. And digging in next will be Anthony Rendon. Tries to change up on him there, but it's a ball two and one. Ground ball left side and a base hit so early trouble to lead off the inning. Rogelio Armenteros will come on in relief as he'll make his second appearance of the season so far. To the plate now Mike Trout. No offer on that one two balls and a strike. When you've got a guy that throws a good two seam fastball. You have to be ready for him to try to run it inside and jam you. Good job to lay off that one, but I wouldn't be surprised if we see it again. Here now the 2-2, but gloved by the third baseman for the out. So a runner at first with but one out now, hit. and that'll bring in Tommy LaStella to bat next. 1-1. Oh. Both clubs with three hits in the ballgame. Got him swinging. Chased it well out of the zone, and there are two gone. 
the left fielder, number eight. Justin Upton, the next Justin. to hit. So far, 0 for 1 with a flyout. Okay. Almost, Matty. Almost went deep. Now Upton with a swing and a deep drive to left. And we'll have to leave it there as the play is made here to end the inning. Now at the plate, Carlos Correa. He reached out a single in his first try. Sent on the ground out to second. Reined in. And the fifth inning will start with a ground out, one away. So the base now is empty here with one through. away. And that brings Dog. up the former gold lover, Josh Reddick. Tried to crush that ball, and now perhaps needs to shorten up with two strikes. The 2-2. Two -two. Again, he sends it out of play. Fastball misses in the dirt as he tried to get him to chase the low one. Well, I think that pitch is the result of a lot of foul balls. He might have tried to do a little bit too much. Now he spins on one here and drives it to deep right field. And it's gone as they add still another. Stepping in now, Garrett Stubbs. That nibbled the corner there, but missed two and one. And he popped him up. And that'll get down for a base hit. Number nine batter comes through that time as it'll now be up to the top of the order with one away. The left fielder, number 23, Michael. Brantley. At the plate, going, Michael runner. Brantley. Runner goes per second. Simmons has it, and yeah. that's the second out. And that'll bring up Alex Bregman. He was a ground out victim last time up. Alex Bregman. Fastball didn't miss by much, and it's a full count now. Three and two. Not a time to fool around right now on a 3-2 count with the middle part of the order coming up. Expect a good pitch to swing at. And that misses ball four, so it's first now and second it. now with two out. The 2-2. Ripped on the ground to first. And a backhanded reach at first, but he can't flag it down. And a good throw will wind up holding that runner at third, so the bases become loaded now with two gone. Matt Andreese answers the call to pitch here in a big spot. He inherits a bases loaded jam, but needs just one out to get out of it. At the plate now, Jordan Alvarez. And he takes one off the inside corner for ball two. To two and two now. To first. And he'll step on the bag himself, and the inning is over. Leading off the inning, Brian Goodwin, and they'll need him to get something going here. Things not looking very good so far in this one, but we're still in the middle innings. They're down by a couple of runs, and this would be the right place and the right time to get something going. The last thing they want to do is to try to come from behind and win this one in the eighth or ninth inning. And now for the Angels, Jason Castro. He looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up. From the windup, the 1-1 pitch. Pat Bolton. Two balls. One strike. Oh, that's Big bat of Albert Pujols is due up next. Swings through it for strike number two. Someone on this offense needs to take it upon themselves to have a quality A-B and start the line moving again. Filthy change up that time, but he's able to make contact and he'll get another chance. And he fouls this one off. Three to one our score as we play inning number five. 
And he looks at one that misses, and that's an excellent job of making his man throw a lot of pitches as he toughs out a wall. Not trying to pick up that outside corner, but this misses, and it's back to even at two balls and two strikes. Line towards center field. Springer is there to put it away, and the runner will be forced to retreat back to first. In now is Andrelton Simmons. Last time through was a base hit. Castro, the runner at first with two gone. Swing and a liner. In there, a base hit. Standing in now, David Fletcher. Grounded back up the middle. And the two-out threat will not come to pass as the inning is over. Now the Cuban import, Yuli Gurriel. The one-two. Bottom dropped out on him, and that's a strikeout. And he makes the throw to first. Guriel is retired, and there's one away. George Springer, the next to hit, has faced Matt Andrees previously. He's gone two for six. He also has one home run. Left side. And very quickly there, they're two gone to start the inning. Striding in, Carlos Correa. He's one for two in this one. We're in the sixth inning here in a three to one ball game. And now a fastball, but he's able to hold off on it, and it's two and one now. There's a swing and a high deep drive headed for the right field corner. And it'll fade just at the end and winds up a long foul ball. And another foul ball. The 2 2 one more time. Hey, I know the idea is to try to get the guy to swing on a 2 2 pitch, right? But that one was so low, I don't know anybody that would have swung at that pitch. And he loses him on a breaking ball. Now back. Set to deal. Here's the 3 1. Out in front as this is pulled foul into the seats. 3-2, two, two out, runner on first. Lots of possible outcomes on this pitch. Hard hit ball to second, and he can't come up with it cleanly here in right. And they won't even attempt to run on that arm in right, so despite the runner moving on the pitch, it will wind up first Garrett. and second here. So now to the plate, Garrett Stubbs. And he popped him up over toward the left side of the infield. And Simmons will make the play here to retire the side. Ready now for L.A. Anthony Rendon. He steps in off a base hit in his last at bat. The 2-1 home. Every ball club has that spark plug guy. And this is the guy right here. He usually ignites a lot of productive innings. Back up the middle and in for a base hit. So it's a good start for the Halos as their leadoff hitter reaches base. The center fielder, number 27. Mike. Into the box, Mike Trout. Hit on the ground to third. Altuve for one. On to first to complete the double play. So base is empty now after the double play. And digging in is the veteran D.H., Tommy LaStella. Swing and a miss on a pitch outside. One and two now. You know, over the course of a full season, you're going to have some clunkers, and this certainly looks like a swing and a miss. That retires the side, and that will do it. Seventh inning ready to roll. Here's Michael Brantley. He's got a hit in three at bats to this point. The one two. Line drive to center field. Trout is there and he has it for the first down. 
And that'll bring up the former first rounder Alex Bregman. He's hitless in his two at bats so far. And he gets him to pop it up on the right side of the infield. And he'll put this away for the second out. At the plate, Jose Altuve. It was a single for him in his last at bat. Now the one and one pitch. Pitch is popped up. Rendon has a play. No trouble with this one, and the Ladies inning and is over. It's time for the traditional seventh inning stretch. Here's Justin Upton now. Even though we're moving into the back end of this game, they're only down by a couple of runs. You know that old slogan, a bloop and a blast. They could certainly use that right now. Skied into straightaway right. Reddick giving chase. He's there and records the first down. Settling in now, Brian Goodwin, 0 for 2 on the afternoon so far. We're in the seventh inning with a good finish brewing. 3 to 1 our score. Two balls and a strike. Into center field, line drive base hit. So with a left handed hitter waiting, they'll go to their own left hander out of the bullpen. In now, Jason Castro. One and two now as that one's fouled off. One run, six hits, and no errors to this point for the Angels. Oh, and you can tell he wanted to hold off, but he swings through the inside pitch anyway, and he becomes number out number, number two. Five, at the plate, Albert Pujols. Pujols hit the ball pretty well in his last at-bat, but it resulted in a line out. Yeah, he hit it hard. That's all you can ask. You can't control the results. Of and the right fielder is there to make the catch, and the inning is over. Justin Anderson will come on and make his fourth appearance in this campaign. Number 38. All set for the start of the inning. Striding forward now is the DH, Jordan Alvarez. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. And he goes against the shift there as this is on the ground to the left side. Into the box now, Yuli Gurriel. Trying to shave that outside corner with the fastball, and he missed it. It's three and one now. Fouled away. Good battle. Count remains full. Payoff pitch one more time. Hit hard back up the middle. A diving effort here as he gets a glove on it. But they will not get it out on the play as he beats the throw to first. And there are two on to start the inning now. At the plate, George Springer. And it's full now, three and two. It's not easy to get your barrel to a pitch that high. That can be an effective location as long as he keeps it above the letters. The three, two, one more time. Keeps fighting him off. The eighth pitch of the at bat coming up. Ball four. So a big spot here. Bases loaded. Nobody out. And the former number one overall pick in American League Rookie of the Year, Carlos Correa, bats next. Astros shortstop in front with a three and one count. Call didn't go his way on two and one, but it's important here on three and one to still make a quality pitch. You have to have the mindset that you're still the one in the driver's seat. Oh, and it misses ball four, and that will force home a run. Josh Reddick will stand in against the new pitcher, and he couldn't ask for a better scenario as he stands in with the bases loaded and nobody out. 
And this one runs a little too far in. Ball two. Bookter is among a dying breed. Those lefty specialists whose roles are changing with the new rules around reliever usage. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Catch is made by Trout. Here comes the runner from third. So add one more on the sack fly as that'll make this a 5-1 to one game. Digging in now, Garrett now Stubbs. Yep. He's working on a 1-for-3 thus far. The 2-1 home. Count even at 2-2. Two and two. Pulled toward right center field. Giving Chase his good one. He makes the running play. Two down. So the Houston lineup turns over and to the plate, Michael Brantley. And we'll see what he can do here. Two on, two away, two home so far this inning. And he misses two and one. Two men are on with two men out. Rounded slowly to the left side. He's right there. Throw to second for the four shot, and the side is retired. Back to the top of the Angels lineup now, and stepping in, Andrelton Simmons. Last time through was a base hit. It doesn't look very promising so far in this one as we move into the later oh. innings. Down by a bundle, it's time to get some base runners and hopefully a long ball to get them back into this one. Swing and a liner. Foul. Here now the 2-2. Two -two. Lifted in the air toward the line and right. But this is just going to wind up being a foul ball. Another 2-2 offering. Left center, base hit. Now back, second baseman, David. At the plate now, David Fletcher. And it's up to a 3-2 full count now. All you want is the leadoff man to get on to start a big inning, maybe get a big rally going to claw your way back into this ball game. Ball hit high to the right side, but this will get into the seats foul. Fouled off. One run, seven hits, and no errors to this point for the Angels. Pulled high in the air out to left field. Brantley is under it. One down. Now in the box, Anthony Rendon. He steps in off a base hit in his last at bat. The 1 1 is swung on and missed, and that's strike two. Good thing he didn't make contact with that pitch. Only thing he could do is. Probably hit that on the ground. It could be a double play ball. On a big curveball is in there for a called third strike, and there are two gone. So now the Angels' cleanup batter, Mike Trout. He was a double play victim last time around. Yeah, rolling into a two ball will eat at you for the rest of the game at least. So you know he wants to make up for it right here. That's a good take on a fastball out of the zone. Hey, I get it. He's looking for a ball to drive, but that ball was a little bit too far up in the zone. That's one you normally pop right up. Still even at two and two. A runner on first with two away. The two two one more time is laid off and the count runs full. Good spot for an RBI. Put the ball in play with the runner in motion. He could score all the way from first. Pulled high in the air out to left field. And Brantley will make the catch, and that ends the inning. Hansel Robles enters from the pen to start the ninth inning as he'll try to keep the score right where it is heading to the bottom of the ninth. 
set to start the ninth in this one. Riding in once again, Alex Bregman. He got under one and popped out his last time up. Yeah, I don't mind him trying to drive the ball in the air, but he can't collapse the backside, and that's exactly what he did in his last at bat. Look for him to stay a little taller and keep that upper half a little bit more over. Three and one to him now. Now a swing by Bregman and a ball hit well to deep left. Gone into the home bullpen for a home run. To the plate now, Jose Altuve. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Trout giving chase. And he tracks it down. Nice play for the first out. So here's the Astros cleanup hitter, Jordan Alvarez. One run in and one gone so far this inning. And they'll go off speed here as this pitch misses. It's two and one. Two and two the count. Anticipated. Here's a ground ball now to the right side. And a throw to Pujols is in time for the second out. Coming to the plate now, Yuli Gurriel. He comes into this appearance in the midst of a one for four day. Now the one and one pitch. Bases are empty here with two men out. Swing and a hard hit ball towards the hole. And that's a base hit. He's now two for five in this one. Now that the cover fielder, George Springer. Stepping in now, George Springer. There's a swing and a high drive into left center field. Trout looks up. Off the rocks and gone. Cam Bedrosian enters now in a mop-up role as he'll try to keep the deficit right where it is. So now to the plate, Carlos Correa in the air out to right. Goodwin's in pursuit. He tracks it down, and that will end the inning. Brad Peacock, a six foot one inch right hander, will be the one to get the call from the bullpen here. Ball set for the bottom of the ninth. Here's Tommy LaStella now. He's hitless in three at bats to this point. Now the three and two pitch. And could this be the start? It's a long way back, but the leadoff man is on base to start their final set of at-bats. Now the 2-1 pitch takes a pitch for strike number two. Hit hard to short. He's got it. Altuve for one. Back to first, a ninth inning double play, and they're an out away from closing this one out. Now Digging in once again, Brian Goodwin. Angels down to their last strike. And he gets strike three called to end it here, and with that, this one is over. Wow, they were banging on all cylinders from the leadoff man to the number nine guy, the owner. They absolutely cruised to a seven run victory. If it were only always that easy, right? Eight to one is the final score this afternoon. The Strodes took the lead in the second inning and rode that until the very end. Rogelio Armenteros claims the win out of the pen his first. So that just about does it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney, and our entire crew. I'm Matt Vasquez, and you've been watching MLB The Show. For more, make your way over to theshownation.com.
Fans are final line score this afternoon. First for the victorious Astros, eight runs on 12 hits. No error, they left eight men on base. For the Angels, one run, seven hits, no error, they left six men on base. Time of the ball game, three hours and 13 minutes. Thank you for joining us here this afternoon. And we remind you to please drive home safely.